So you heard microgreens are good for you, but they're kind of expensive. Well, they're pretty easy to grow, but if you're not home to water them one to three times a day, well those tender little plants can dry up and die. You waste a lot of seed and money. So I'm going to show you how to build a self-watering microgreen grower. Set it and forget it. Pretty easy to build, pretty easy to grow. Let's get started. Make sure you wear your safety goggles. What are you doing to my desk? Huh? Look, we show them about the microgreens. All right, did you tell them about it? Come on. Da, 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 da. You wanna say hello? Say hello to everyone? Are you cold? You wanna go inside? Here, go see mommy. All right, go on. Can you get her? Cool. All right, you get seed started. Now, I know you're gonna get a little impatient, once you get that lid on there, you don't want to keep peeking, seeing how things are going. But really, you don't have to do anything. If you feel like you got to do something, get you one of these, little spritz. Really, that's it. Three to five days later, uncover it. They're going to look a little pale. Time to set them in the sun. No watering or anything. Seven to 14 days later, you can have microgreens. Now, you can use these in your NFT system or your downspouts. Grow you out some real nice baby greens. Or if you decide to eat them now as microgreens, here's some pretty cool ideas. All right, here's some pak choy microgreens. All of the pak choy you've seen me grow in all the videos were started this way. With the shallow lid, you can cut it right here while they're still young and tender. And you don't have to worry about getting any soil on it. If you're worried about using something synthetic like the chamois, I used an old cotton t-shirt for this one. Yep, something we're going to throw away anyway. Recycled. Now go grow you some microgreens. Huh, and hug somebody.
Till next time, live to inspire. Keep on growing. Be the change. Mr. Doozy out.